Hi everyone, it is December 5, 2017. I posted this video last night and included in the video I was talking about Trump, Bears Ears, Grand Staircase, he going out to Utah to make his announcement that he was going to give back two million acres to those in Utah, public lands for public use. I got comments from people who are thinking that Trump is fighting the United Nations. It's a reversal of the United Nations agenda, 21 land grab. Or by my saying it was a land grab of Trump, he grabbing back 2 million of the 260 million acres that Obama designated as a national monument. Trump's land grab? Nah, it's the opposite. Got comments from people who said that I misread the article. Um, I want to point out that all we can do is speculate as to what is behind a lot of the actions that our leaders take. In fact, all of the actions. That's all we can do is guess. We are not a people who speak honestly, directly, straightforwardly. There's always a plan, a hidden agenda behind what people say and what they want to achieve. Look at the chemtrails. Beautiful land, isn't it? It is beautiful land. That's getting killed off by all of the geoengineering, the spraying of toxic chemicals, heavy metals that Trump supports. Okay, um, I'm glad nobody wrote some comment that was attacking. Thank you. You can have your take on it. I can have my take on it. And, but we can still stand together. Essentially, what we have to do is just wait and see, right? Okay, the land grab. That's my take on what is taking place here. And it is taking back 2 million acres to eventually hand over to big oil and big corporations so that they can drill and they can mine. Um, and that's not good because they will be destroying this land. Does that mean I stand with the environmentalists or the Native Americans in Utah who applauded Obama for designating Bears Ears as a national monument? Do I stand with them? No. I stand with them in the protection of the land, but I don't stand with them fully because they don't fully understand what Obama was doing with this uh, designating land as a national monument under the Antiquities Act. I posted a video on Kafka Winston World about the Antiquities Act and how presidents use this act to steal land, designated a national monument, and then hand it over to the United Nations so that the United Nations can protect the biodiversity of that land, so that the United Nations can continue to achieve its Agenda 2030, Agenda 21 plan to reshape the United States for its own purposes for the New World Order. Now, when you say that to people who don't have any knowledge about that, they will look at you, they'll roll their eyes, they'll call you a conspiracy theorist, and then they fight you. My God, that we, we are now saturated in so many lies with so many agendas taking place. This is perfect for these uh, psychopathic, globalist, evil 
shitheads, sorry to curse, because they can do something and it looks really good. And then they're called a hero by so many Americans and they have no idea that what has just been done was selling them down the river. How do we get out of this? Trump. Um, all right. Two million acres. He hands back to Utah. The executive order that he signed in April was a review of the designations under the Antiquities Act, a review of the designations of three presidents, not just Obama, but Obama designated 260 million acres. Why would Trump, if he's fighting the United Nations, hand back a scant two million? So, if, and I did a video, I posted it on Kafka Winston World, of what the representatives in Utah were doing. They wanting to use that area, that region, Bears Ears, to promote fossil fuel development. In July 2016, representatives Rob Bishop who was, and I don't know if he still is, but he was then, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Natural Resources, along with Representative Jason Shevitz, they rolled out their Utah Public Lands Initiative, which included plans for what is now Barris Ears National Monument. That proposal of Shevitz and Bishop got shut down because Obama designated that area as a national monument. Yay, Obama! The cries from the environmentalists and the natives because they wanted that land to be protected. And am I against Native Americans protecting their sacred land? Absolutely not. But when it gets protected by a president, under the Antiquities Act, designated a national monument, and then handed over to the United Nations. Well, I understand what's happening. It's not protection of the land, not protection of Native Americans. It is an action that will cause the ultimate demise of all of us. So that's not the best way to go about protecting the land, right? But then you have Americans and Native Americans who are really only interested in what they want and they don't care how the land is being protected. They just want it protected. So when someone protects it, they go, yay. But I say, nay, we got to protect it some so, uh, in another way. Okay, give it back to Utah. Yay, Trump, only giving two million back, but okay, so is this a fight that Trump has with the United Nations and Agenda 21? I don't see it that way. If it was, he would have uh, grabbed back an awful lot more land, so, so then you have to think, all right, uh, what what's going on with this land? Could it be the natural resources that he's after to hand back to the big oil, to the big corporations for them to drill and mine the land, which will ultimately destroy the land? Well, according to Bishop, who was the chair, might still be, but the chair of the Committee on Natural Resources, Bishop knew that this region, this land, had energy development potential. That's why they were 
That's why they, they uh, proposed the Utah Public Lands Initiative, to promote fossil fuel development right there. But isn't it interesting that in 2016, the committee, the chair on the Committee of Natural Resources, knew that this land was energy rich, and yet we, just yesterday, have the Department of Natural Resources in Utah come out and make this statement on their website according to studies completed by the Utah Geological Survey, the Bears Ears National Monument, as originally designated, does not hold significant energy development potential. So what happened within one year? Within one year? How did those have the energy. How did the natural resources get depleted in one year? Or are they lying? So Trump takes back two million acres, beer, bears ears, and he says, hey, Utah, this is your land, and you can do what you want. It is an outrage that our federal government is usurping and taking land from states. No, I'm going to give it back to you. And people who want uh, things to change in our country, want states to have their own power, they applaud that. Yay! Do you think that there might be those government officials in Utah that will then hand over the land to corporations to develop that land? for their own uses. Absolutely. Do you think that a department within a state, a government department, could lie and put out just yesterday this announcement, a study revealing that this area doesn't hold significant energy development potential? Could it be possible that Trump actually said you've got to put out a study? like this? Lying to the American people? Absolutely. So we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. I want to thank those who left their comments that they were not attacking comments. Uh, you can have your view. I have mine. And we can still walk together. But we don't know. Because unfortunately, we are now so saturated in so many agendas taking place at a rapid pace that are destroying us, destroying the country, destroying Americans, we have leaders, and yes, Trump is one of them, um, who just lie, betray the American people. They speak the good words that we want to hear, but then they turn around and they ultimately do something different. And if anybody thinks that Trump just suddenly developed this moral core where he's really um, fighting for the ordinary American. I don't know where you got that. I have voiced my take on how Trump got into the White House. No, I do not believe that it was the votes of the American people. I do believe that anybody who gets in to that big, pretty White House in Washington, D.C. has the people behind the curtain open the curtain for them to walk through. I don't believe that Trump is an anti-globalist, a nationalist who, who actually does want to work for the American people. Um, And what you can do is just really do research on the history of somebody. Watch how they lived their life consistently. And did Trump ever veer off a road that would demonstrate that he was suddenly getting enlightened and, and uh, developing a moral core? No. You know, Trump has screwed people left and right for his own self-interest, building the Trump empire. And it was any means necessary to achieve my objective 
to have this Trump empire. And you can read this or listen to the interview about what he did in Scotland. Golf course, got to have a golf course. And you know what? I'm going to build the Scottish residence. You can read about what he did to an elderly widow. Opposing lawyer recalls brazen offer by Trump in Atlantic City eminent domain case. This guy has no problem stealing land for his own self-interest or for the interest of corporations, his friends. This, and I had read articles about this taking place when it did take place, and I was so happy to see that this elderly widow won. This man was opposing counsel, fighting against the Trump empire. Trump wanted to kick an elderly widow out of her home because he wanted to build a parking lot for his Atlantic City casino. And I guess recognizing that this attorney who represented the elderly widow was winning was a really fine attorney. Trump tried to buy him off. Money, money, money. So a guy, I guess the guy had some integrity and continued and won the case for the elderly wid widow. No, we have very disturbed people who are narcissists, who are psychopaths, who are out for their own and will work for their friends. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I, I see this action. It was a land grab back of a scant two million. That that is not a big fight against the United Nations. Um, and I don't believe the Department of Natural Resources. When you know what has been taking place for years, they government officials in Utah, in the federal government, wanting this land, you got to ask why. All links are below. But I will say that it was very nice to read the comments and not read comments from people who were personally attacking me on my view. It is absolutely the case that now because we do, we're surrounded by Americans who just never, ever, ever do they speak honestly, directly, straightforward. We, we've got to now wonder about what is the hidden agenda. And if you guys are right, I will post a video with my face in it and say, hey, you were right, I was wrong, and I'll be happy for it. What do you do? We just have to wait and see what happens with this land right here in Utah.